Welcome, digital artists! I'm Galia from AI Creative Tools, and today we've got a very serious topic – Midjourney subscription plans. So no nice pictures, just raw numbers. Watch until the end and you will learn how to get free image generations and have all the info you need to pick a perfect subscription plan for you. If you're new to Midjourney, this part is for you. First, you should know that there is no free or trial version. To use Midjourney, you must subscribe to one of the paid plans. And with any of the paid plans, you can use your generated images in any way, including commercial purposes. You can find the subscription plan under your profile in the Manage Subscription section. On the screen, you can see the comparison table of all available plans. Prices are shown for both monthly and yearly billing, and VAT will be added upon checkout. The key thing to understand is GPU time. Each plan includes a specific number of GPU hours. Processing one standard image prompt, a grid of four images, usually takes about one minute of GPU time. SD video, batch size 4, takes about eight minutes, and HD video, batch size 4, takes about 26 minutes. You can switch between the SD and HD video modes as well as the batch sizes right here in the Create section, Prompt Settings. Other tasks may use more or less time, for example, upscaling images using omni-reference, non-standard aspect ratios or older model versions take more GPU time. Creating variations or using lower quality settings usually takes less. Also, there are fast, turbo and relax modes. Fast mode is the default. All the numbers I've mentioned refer to it. Turbo mode is up to four times faster than fast mode, but costs twice as much GPU time. Relax mode is slow, but doesn't use GPU time. It offers unlimited images and SD video generations, but availability depends on your plan. It's not available at all on the basic plan, works only for images on the standard plan, works for images and SD videos in Pro and Mega plans, and it doesn't work for HD videos at all. Keep in mind that slow really means slow. Sometimes you can wait up to 10 minutes for an image grid. Relax mode also has other limitations. For example, you can't use permutation prompts or the repeat parameter. Here's a detailed cost overview per plan. The first thing to note here is that the basic plan has the highest cost per image, while all the rest of the plans have exactly the same cost. You can also clearly see that when you buy extra GPU hours for 4 US dollars each, the cost is even higher than for basic plan. So we don't recommend buying these extra GPU hours. It's much better to manage your needs in other ways, which I'll explain soon. And finally, I remind you that these calculations were made for the most standard tasks, meaning it's the maximum you can get. Another important thing is that unused GPU time doesn't roll over to the next month, except for the extra GPU hours you've purchased additionally. So the best case scenario is that you just use all the included hours before the month ends. What other features and differences do subscription plans have? HD videos, unavailable on the basic plan. Stealth mode, starting from the pro plan hides your creations from the public community gallery. Concurrent jobs lets you run multiple tasks simultaneously. Great for working fast or using permutation prompts. Optional credit bot top-ups means that all plans allow you to buy extra GPU hours for four US dollars per hour. The journey editor is available for everyone. You can earn bonus GPU time, but only if you have a paid subscription. Once again, the journey doesn't offer any free trials. Go to the Tasks tab on the journey website. You can rank images, videos, styles and other stuff here. If you're among the top 2000 rankers in a chosen category, you'll get one free hour daily. Hours are awarded once a day, so there's a delay. 
it usually takes around 50 to 100 rankings to qualify. I've actually never used it before, but for the sake of this video guide, I tried it. And whoa, yesterday I ranked 100 styles, which took me about 5 to 10 minutes, and today I've got my awarded hour. Nice to have. Service can give you two free GPU hours instantly, right after completion, but only once per account. New surveys appear occasionally, so check back. Also, keep an eye on the updates section. Sometimes they announce temporary events or campaigns with bonus GPU rewards. For newbies, if you're just testing mid-journey or not sure if you'll stick with it, start with a basic plan for one month. When you run out of GPU time, do ranking tasks to earn free generations. And if you struggle to write prompts, try out our prompt builders, beginner-friendly Google Sheet tools with drop-downs that help you learn prompting, avoid wasting GPU time on blind experiments, and spark ideas. Before giving any advice to advanced users, let's dive in into some nuances. First, here's how upgrading and downgrading of plans actually work. Let's say you start the basic plan on January 1st. It runs until February 1st. After 10 days, you've used up all your GPU time and you can clearly see that awarded hours from tasks will be just not enough for all your creative plans. Relax mode is not available on the basic plan, so you decide to upgrade to standard plan. The journey gives you two options here. Option 1. Start the standard plan from the new month, meaning you're out of the game till February 1st, or you can try to gain awarded hours with tasks. Option 2. Start it right now, and the subscription period will also be updated, meaning your new month ends on February 10th. And it's not allowed to upgrade till the end of current month for less cost. But remember, you can't downgrade mid-month. For example, if you start with a standard plan on January 1st, and run out of GPU time by January 23rd, you can't switch down to basic plan until February 1st. Now let's talk about choosing a plan based on your workload. For example, I'm making prompt builders. These are complementary tools for mid journey. And also I make some video guides. This means that I mainly use this AI for testing and experimenting, and definitely not every day. So for me, standard plan is the best solution. But if you're the one whose bread and butter is creating a bunch of educational content for Midjourney or producing a large amount of AI art for sale, then the Pro or Mega plans will best suit you. They provide you with more GPU hours as well as relaxed mode for images and SD videos. Now about the yearly subscription. I'm personally not a fan. Yes, you can get about 20% discount, but in my opinion, the disadvantages overweight that small saving. Your unused GPU hours don't roll over to the next month, something I really think should be changed for yearly subscribers. You need to make a large one-time payment, and Midjourney is already one of the most expensive tools in this category. And finally, a year in the world of AI is an eternity. New tools appear constantly, and your creative focus or business direction might change. You might want to experiment with other AIs, or even switch to a different platform entirely. If that happens, the rest of your paid year simply goes to waste. Now I'll share my own approach. Simple, flexible, and tested by experience. I've been using Midjourney for about two and a half years and created over 28,000 images. I always try to plan my workload one month ahead, and I just switch between plans when I need it. When I'm developing a new prompt builder, standard plan is a perfect pick for me. If I run out of GPU hours, I can just switch to relax mode, or as I've just found out, I can do ranking tasks to earn bonus time. When I'm focusing on other AI tools, marketing or smaller projects, basic plan is totally enough. When I'm on vacation or AFK for another reason, I can just skip subscribing at all. And the Pro plan is used once or twice a year, especially when a new version or a new big feature like videos is released. All in all, it costs me about $200, maybe $250 per year plus VAT, and 
it gives me maximum flexibility. Sure, this approach takes a bit of effort to manage, but for me it's worth it. I'd happily switch to a yearly standard plan if only unused GPU hours carried over to the next month. But since they don't, monthly billing gives me freedom. I can upgrade to Pro for a short creative burst and then downgrade later when I don't need that much GPU power. With an annual subscription, you lose that flexibility. You can't upgrade for one month, so you are stuck either waiting for slow relax mode or grinding daily ranking tasks or buying overpriced extra GPU hours. To sum up, here are the key takeaways about Midjourney subscription plans. Midjourney offers four paid plans – Basic, Standard, Pro and Mega. All include general commercial rights. Image and SD video generation are available on all plans as well as the Midjourney editor. HD video generation starts with Standard plan. Relax mode – free generation is available for images starting from standard plan and for SD videos starting from Pro. There is no relaxed mode for HD videos at all. And there are no free or trial versions. That's everything I know about Midjourney subscriptions and I believe it's one of the most complete explanations you'll find on YouTube today. I hope it helps you make the most of your money and GPU time. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you in the next one.